Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just want to show you one of our new products. This is a uh, PIR module, passive infrared sensor. Picks up on the uh, infrared signals coming off the human body, so it's ideal for security circuits. Um, don't pay attention to this connector. This connector is just something I had around. It doesn't come with connector, but it does have three pins, uh, and it's labeled on the board. Five volts, out, and ground. Uh, so it's a digital circuit. You want to make sure you use no more than five volts. The middle pin is ground, and I've got it hooked up to my uh, oscilloscope over here. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh show you how to use it. By using these two uh, potentiometers, uh, you can fiddle for sensitivity, and you can make it really sensitive, uh, and you can make it not sensitive at all. And, and basically, uh, if you make it really sensitive, what will happen is you'll breach it, and the output will stay high for uh, a few seconds, whereas if you make it not so sensitive and you breach it from up close, it'll go high, the output will go high, but it won't stay high for very long. So let me just uh, show you my current configuration. I'm going to stop the video and show you my oscilloscope. So currently my output is low. I'm going to put my hand in front of it. And that's 5 volts, 5 volts out. And it'll stay high for longer, depending on how sensitive you have it. Uh, and it will go, uh, you know, it can stay high for longer periods of time if you make it really sensitive, and you can, uh, or if you make it not very sensitive, you can put your hand right in front of it, it'll go high for a split second and then go low again. Uh, if you keep walking around in front of the PIR sensor, the output might become unstable, it might be go high to low, high to low, and that's because uh, it swings. The PIR output swings. It doesn't just go high if someone's in front of it. And as well, if you go in front of your PIR sensor and you stay very still, it eventually kind of gets you. It 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 uh, it gets used to you. Your uh, your infrared spe uh, spectrum, and it'll go low again until you move again. When you make when when uh, it'll pick up when it, when it detects a change in its field. And uh, so I'm just going to keep. There you go. I'll put my hand in front of it again, and it'll go low. And uh, high and low and if I tune in I can I can make it less sensitive and more sensitive so it's really easy to use three pins with five volts ground and output um, you don't need to use uh, your own you don't need to necessarily use a connector for it. you can wire wrap or solder wires to the pins or you can make a, you take a little piece of PCB and solder it to that so it's up to you it's a fun little device very easy to use don't wire it up backwards or you might fry it they're inexpensive and they work great for little security systems uh, and uh, I know that I, I, I messed with my older brother with one of these a little while ago when he walked into a room I had a siren go off it was kinda of funny he wasn't very appreciative of it but anyway that's uh, that's the video hi again and there we go thanks for watching everyone if you're interested in this check out engineeringshock.com or electronicglessons.com it should be up soon we got tons of great stuff coming so check us out